From the WBBZ TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play. Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShillo, with today's two teams. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us. Take a look at our studio audience. Everybody is decked out in blue and gold. We are celebrating Canisius College here tonight. Yeah. We have students, we have faculty, and look, I've got my uh, blue and gold right there. How about that? Yeah, I gotta get an update on the Canisius tie. This is a special class project, and uh, to set the tone for all that, I'm gonna bring in, would you please welcome Dr. Barbara Irwin from uh, Canisius College. Yeah, give her a round of applause. So Dr. Irwin, what is the, uh, the background here with the students that are here and the faculty? Well, I'm teaching a course called Broadcasting in America this semester, and I like to have my students do real world projects. So I've got a group of six students from my class that are producing bragging rights, so we're grateful to WBBZ for that opportunity. And uh, like I said, we like our students to do real world projects, get some good experience, put that on their resumes. Uh, some of these students are interested in getting a job in the business, and this will be great for them. And we've got teams representing different aspects of Canisius, and we're real excited to be here. Well, we're happy to have you here. Thank you, Barbara Irwin, Dr. Barbara Irwin. And who, look who we have here, Petey, the mascot for Canisius. Yeah, well, Petey's gonna join me. Petey looks very sharp. Yeah, look, look at sharp. So Petey's gonna stand behind the teams, have a little fun. Why don't we come back and meet the hometown teams? You go behind the blue team there, Petey, and I'm gonna come over and introduce you to the red team. They are the faculty from the English department. Welcome them here to the show. We'll meet them in a minute. And they're playing against some students that call themselves Griffin's Best here on the blue side. Yeah, yeah, they're Griffin's Best. Petey, come on in, we can't see you, you know? You need your close up there, Petey. All right, I'm gonna come over now and uh, introduce you to uh, the guest scorekeeper. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna introduce you to the team captain on the red side, and you are? Jen Desiderio. Jen Desiderio, how are you? How long have you been uh, on the faculty at Canisius? 15 years. 15, that's mm -hmm. terrific, and, uh, and what is your specialty there? What do you teach? I teach American literature. I also teach the introduction to composition classes, intro to writing, African American lit, some other classes. Yeah. What's it like uh, to be a part of the Canisius family? Oh, it's it's very it's thrilling. It's a lot of fun. We have great students. There's a great um, dynamic between students and faculty. Small classrooms, so it allows us to a lot of individual attention, and it's a great place to work. It is. Tell me who's on the team with you. I have Dr. Amy Wolf and Dr. Graham Stowe. All right, Dr. Amy and Dr. Graham, we'll meet you as we move through the game, and we thank you for being here. I'll come over now and introduce you to the team captain on the blue side, and you are? I'm Caleb Blodgett. Caleb, what are you studying there? Uh, I'm studying uh, DMA and communications. Communications, so you picked the right place. What do you think of our WBBZ TV home here? You guys have a nice setup going here, I like it. Yeah, you like yeah, it a lot? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah you, you might take over for me someday, Caleb. Yeah, I'll slow down, we'll, we'll get oh, there yeah, eventually. No, 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 you don't slow down. So uh, where are you from? Uh, I am from Buffalo, New York. Uh, I grew up here, um, I, you know, Buffalo through and through. Yeah. What made you select Canisius? Uh, I like uh, Jesuit education is very important to me, so it was like important to keep that going in college too. Great. All right, who's on the team with you? So I have my uh, friend Bernard Dent here and my other friend Salvatore Bianco. All right, Bernard and, uh, and, and, and Salvatore. So thanks for joining us. All right, now I will introduce you to the guest scorekeeper. And uh, he is Matt Gorsica. Say hi to Matt, he is a Canisius grad. <laughs> So Matt, tell us about your journey at Canisius because it's uh, quite, quite something. It is. Um, I was a student there. I did my undergrad work, um, graduated in 2013. Went on right after that, finished my master's in 2015. Um, and now I'm actually back as a staff member working in the Canisius Fund, which has been really great. Yeah, and the Canisius Fund, what do they do? What's the money used to for? So we raise money for student scholarships primarily, but funding for all sorts of different student experiences, support for academic programs, really everything that helps the student experience and just gives students the best opportunities possible. All right, well, Matt Gorsica is a great representative. Now, take a look at Matt because he is at the scoreboard, and what we want to do is uh, start by asking each team captain to pick a game block. Once they pick the game block, the X or the O, you want to get them across, up and down or diagonal, and you get a bonus of 50 points. We're playing for points, 10 points in the first round, 20 in the second, 30 in the third, and in addition to 
talking about Canisius College and sharing what that's all about. Each team that plays and wins, if you win, you become eligible for three large screen LED HD TVs from Dirt Cheap TV, which is our client and happy sponsor here at the station. So we flipped a coin and the red team is gonna start. So uh, Captain Jen, take a look at that scoreboard that Matt is standing in front of. Where do you want your game block to go? How about B2? How about B2? Where is that, Matt? B2, right B2. there. All right, which of these bands originated in Buffalo? A, Blue Oyster Cult, B, the Goo Goo Dolls, or C, the Chainsmokers? B. They're there. B, you say B. Matt? Well, these English faculty members know their Buffalo bands, because that's right. The Goo Goo Dolls. Robbie Tekak from Music is Art. 10 points on the board for the English faculty. Okay, Captain Caleb, where do you want your game block to go? Uh, we'll take A1. A1, at the top. How many months have 31 days? A6, B7, C5. All right, we're gonna go with uh, seven. Which would be B. And that's correct, seven months it is. 10 points, you smart students from Canisius. Petey isn't helping you, is he, Caleb? I don't know, he's just, uh, he's just looking, he's looking over your shoulder, yeah, all right. Okay, Captain Jen, where would you like your game block to go? Um, B1. Sounds good to me, B1 there, Mr. Matt. In the latest Marvel Avengers movie, what actor plays the Hulk? A, Mark Ruffalo. B, Chris Evans, or C, Jeremy Renner? A, Mark Ruffalo. Is it Mr. Ruffalo? They know they're superheroes too, because that's correct. Yep, Ruffalo, rhymes with Buffalo. Another 10 points up. We're up to question number four. This is the last question in the round. Caleb, where do you want your game block to go? I'll take B3. B3, yes, you wanna get a little block action going on there. On what television sitcom is Marshall Erickson a character? Is it A, Friends? B, Seinfeld, or C, How I Met Your Mother? Uh, that'll be C. Have you watched that show? No. no? I love How I Met I Your Mother. It. But you watch it, right? Yeah. Okay, so Bernard watches it. Are they right there, Matt? They are, and I rudely interrupted, but they are correct. C is the right answer. Oh, no problem there. All right, thank you very much. Now, let's stay, there he is. There, look at that guy. He, he looks like he should be on a sitcom. He, handsome guy, he's like, yeah, like you guys. He's a handsome guy. All right, we're at the end of round one. Matt Corsica, what's the uh, score as we end this round? Well, so far we're all tied up, 20 points apiece. And each question in the next round is worth 20. We'll get a chance to catch up with Matt and find out more about Canisius College right after this. Welcome back to Bragging Rights. John DeShulo here at the scoreboard. And uh, Matt Gorsico, you met. Of course, Dr. Barbara Irwin, you met uh, from Canisius College. We're celebrating Canisius. Canisius is one of those iconic schools, isn't it, Matt? They really are. And it's been, as a student, an alum, a staff member, it's really just such a great place to work and learn. And you know, Dr. Irwin, one of the things I've noticed in my 35 years in Buffalo, if you're a graduate of Canisius, there is that connection that you're making in the community. It's, it's very important. There's a wonderful alumni connection at Canisius. Um, we've got graduates in all parts of the world. And how long have you been at Canisius? I've been at Canisius for 28 years. Wow, and always in communication? In the communication studies department as a professor, yes. Well, and I know that uh, Phil Arno has spoken in, at your class, I've spoken in your class. The dynamics are changing so much. It's important that they, meaning the students, make that real world connection. Yes, yes, we like our students to be prepared to enter the real world and uh, opportunities like this are great. Well, this is sort of the real world around here. I don't know uh, <laughs> what kind of world it is, but it's ours and you're all sharing in it. And uh, Matt's been on the game show before and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in, in another episode because we're gonna do a lot here tonight. Matt's a prominent blogger. But here's the website for Canisius. It's canisius.edu and that's the website where you can find out all about Canisius College, you can visit, apply, you can find out all about uh, how you can get tuition assistance and what the academic program is all about. We're back on the game stage, and on the red side, our team, the English department, the faculty, and Petey's pumping them up. And they're playing against Griffin's Best, the team of students. Good students, the best. All right, I'm gonna come over and uh, introduce you to another team member, and uh, you are. Graham Stowe. Graham, Dr. Graham. 
Dr. Stowe. Dr. Stowe, thank you. So Dr. Stowe, how long have you been at uh, Canisius? Uh, not quite three months. Oh my gosh, you're talking about this is new for you. Yeah, yeah. What, what brought you over to Canisius and what are you teaching? Uh, I teach English and I direct the, the New Writing Center. Terrific, and um, so what brought you over? It was a good job. Yeah, it's a good place. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice place. Questions are tough, aren't they, Dr. Yeah, they really are. <laughs> we really appreciate you being here. Tell us about the Writing Center. What, what can students expect when they participate? Oh, well, we help uh, writers at any stage of the writing process. People come in with nothing written sometimes. They come in at the very end and want help proofreading. We do all kinds of, of work. In, I, with, I've, often, I've often said that that's one of the more important skills, no matter what you're doing in life, the ability to write and really articulate your thoughts on paper. Yes, you're right. All right, thanks. Dr. Stowe says I'm right, so I must be right. All right, we're going to come over now and introduce you to another member, and you are? I'm Bernard. Bernard, so what brought you to Canisius? So um, it all started when my parents were born, because then 18 years later, they went to Canisius, and then they met, and then they started dating, and then they got married, and then they had a son, and they, were, they named him Bernard, and they said, hey, Bernard, you should go to Canisius, and then if you fast forward to now, then we're right here. I like how you kind of refer to yourself in the third person like with that, yeah. So what are you studying? Biology. Biology, that's tough stuff, huh? Yes. Yeah, what do you want to be when you uh, get out of school? President. President, all right. I like this guy. You know, he just says it like he, like he means it. All right, you having a good time? Yes. Good, all right, I, thankfully. All right, Matt Corsica, what's the score as we get into round two? Well, we're all tied up. Both teams have 20 points apiece. 20 points, and each question is worth 20 points. And we're going to start now with uh, Dr. Jen. And where would you like your game block to go? We're going to go for A2. A2. What is the chemical symbol for lead? No help there uh, on, the, on this side. Is it A, capital P, small b, B, capital L, small a, C, capital N, small p? The chemical symbol for lead. P, B, L, A, N, P. A. We saw it on the screen. Is it correct? A is correct. Yes, 20 points. The English department. Good job, Jen. All right, Griffin's best. Caleb, where would you want your game block to go? Uh, we'll take D4. All right, on the bottom there, Matt. Which, uh, which male tennis player has won the most grand slams? Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, or Roger Federer? Most Grand Slams. Uh, we'll go with Federer. You're going to go with Federer. That's correct. Wow, look at that. Oh, racking up the points. Needed some help with the pronuncia pronunciation of Djokovic. Here we go. Grand Slams like a baseball. All right, English department, where do you want your game block to go? We'll go for C2. C2 for the Red X. What is the regulation height for a basketball hoop? A, 11 feet. B, 10 feet. C, 12 feet. 10 feet. B, 10 feet. B. 10 feet is right. Wow, look at that. <laughs> 20 more points. Petey here. Petey's at the basketball games, right? For Canisius? Absolutely, yeah. All right, Petey's there. Petey's here with us, too. All right, we're up to uh, question number eight. Two minutes left in the round. Where would you like your game block to go, Caleb? I will take D2. D2 for the block, and this is the last question in this round. Which members of the Beatles are currently alive? A, Paul and George. B, John and George. C, Paul and Ringo. Uh, that'll be C. Is it? C is correct, yep. Paul and Ringo, yep. <laughs> the Beatles. You guys aren't old enough to, no, sure you're old enough to remember the Beatles. Yeah, everybody listens to the Beatles. All right, what is the score, Matt Gorsica? You're one of the fifth Beatle, I think. What is the uh, score at the end of round two? We're all tied up still, 60 points apiece. 60 points, it's a tie score. Who will break the tie? We'll find out in the final round of Canisius College Bragging Rights right after this. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Welcome back to Bragging Rights here in the studio audience. We're having a party. It's a blue and gold party with Canisius. We have some students here, and you are? Andrew Sagan. And uh, what year are you, and what are you studying? Uh, I'm a junior here at the college. I'm studying, studying uh, marketing, economics, and finance. And study abroad? Um, yes, not really, but yes, I, I look the part. Yeah, you do look the part. And you are? 
Uh, I'm Emily Watkins. I'm a junior in multimedia journalism and uh, digital media arts. And you're covering this for the Canisius paper. Yeah, kind of doing a two for one. Are we going to be in the Griffin? Got to check. Got to pick it up on Friday. Got to pick it up. All right, so you got to pick it up. And it's available online, isn't it? Yes, available online. KeniciusGriffin.wordpress.com. KeniciusGriffin.wordpress.com. Matt, you were a writer for uh, the Griffin, weren't you? I was. I was a writer, and I actually ended my time at the Griffin as the managing editor. Some very good years at the Griffin. And the Griffin was probably another place where you got your start to figure out how you'd be one of the Western New York's best bloggers, right? I mean, that's where I credit it, so I, I think so. I know so. There you go. All right. <laughs> On the red side, would you please welcome back to the game stage the English department for round three. <laughs> And they're playing against Griffin's Best, the team on the blue side. Pop them right up. All right, Griffin's Best and uh, the English department faculty, I'm going to come over and meet the uh, team member on this side. And you are? Hi, Amy Wolf. How are you, doctor? I'm good. good. What, so to explain to me what you teach at the school. I teach uh, first year writing and 18th century British literature. Wow. How do the, how do the students embrace uh, that, that concept uh, of the 18th century? Um, I come to it with a lot of enthusiasm <laughs> and pick really fun texts for them to read. Yeah, you got to keep it interesting, right? Yes. But it's very important to have that background. Yes, yes. It's fun. Yeah. I love it, so. Well, how many students do you teach? And, and we should talk about that because the student ratio to faculty is really very good at Canisius. We have really small classes. In a writing class, it's typically 18 students. And in an upper-level literature class, 25. So you're able to work one-on-one -on -one with those students, and if they have some issues, they'll come to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's nice. Well, good luck with you and continued success. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, now we're going to come over and meet another member of the team, and you are? Salvatore Bianco. Salvatore, how are you? I'm doing great. Salvatore, what do you want to do when, uh, when you graduate Canisius, and what do you study? Uh, I'm studying history, and ultimately I want to be a professor. Really? So you want, and maybe teach at Canisius? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Where are you from? Don't let me in. Niagara Falls. And what made you pick Canisius? Uh, love those cl uh, small classroom sizes, man. So you got like we were just talking about with uh, the professor. Yeah, 100%. It's pretty much a, a common interest of everyone who goes to Canisius. It's all about those small classroom sizes. Yeah. Now, do you guys all know each other from campus? Yeah, pretty much. I've been friends with Bernard ever since our philosophy class, uh, freshman year, I think it was. Yeah. So you make these lifelong connections at Canisius. Yeah, it really helps. Yeah. Uh, again, small classroom size. Small classroom size, all about it. Salvatore, you're a good spokesperson for the school. Barbara, sign him right up, okay, Professor Irwin? All right. Hey, everybody, we are happy to have you back for round three. What is the score, Matt Gorsica? Well, it's been a tight race here so far. Both teams are tied with 60 points apiece. 60 apiece. We might have a tiebreaker. I might have to get the penny out of my pocket and uh, figure that out later. But let's pick a, a game block, why don't we, at the English department side. Our captain is Jen. C1. C1. Try that for the Red X. Which television show had the most watched series finale? A, Happy Days, B, MASH, or C, Everybody Loves Raymond? What do we think? B. B, MASH. Another hysterical show, that's correct. 30 MASH. points up on the board. MASH, weeknights at 7 and 7.30 on WBBZ TV. All right, Petey, at the end of the show, we're going to have you come out and take a bow because, you know, he's working hard back there. Okay, all right, take a look at this, the game board. Caleb, where do you want your game block to go? Uh, we'll take D1. D1. Which of these candies is not owned by Hershey? Not A, M&M's, B, Kit Kat, C, Jolly Ranchers. There they are. They look scrumptious. We'll go A. Trying for A. A is right. M &M. Good guess, M&M's. We love M&M's. I worked at a convenience store for three years. Yeah. They got it, and they got 30 points. English department, faculty, Jen? I'll go D3. <laughs> good, D3 it is. Very good for the block. the block. What is the highest viewed music video on YouTube? A, Gangnam Style, PSY. <laughs> B, See You Again, Wiz Khalifa. Or C, Despacito by Luis Fonsi. Did I say that right? I don't know. Good. Gangnam Style, See You Again. Despacito. We'll go A. Gangnam Style. Oh, the oh. streak is over. It was Despacito. Can you sing a little bit of that, Matt? Despacito. I'll, I'll just stop it right okay, there. Okay, that's good. All right. 
because goodness knows I have no idea how to <laughs> sing that one. Maybe Gangnam Style, maybe. All right, we didn't get any points on the board, so let's see, Caleb and company, where do you want your we'll blue take O to go? D3. D3, if you get this, you get a bonus of 50 points and probably the win. Uh, let's see, in sports such as hockey and soccer, what is the term for a player scoring three goals in one game? A, grand slam, B, a hat trick, or C, triple ace? Can we, um, can we ask the audience? You can ask the audience. Uh, thank, you. thank you. I don't know why, but you can, okay. In sports such as hockey and soccer, what is the term for a player scoring three goals? A, grand slam, B, hat trick, C, triple ace. Audience? The audience has spoken, but it's up to Caleb to give me the answer. We'll go with B. Is it a hat trick? It's a hat trick. It B is, is right. It's a hat trick. 30 points yeah. plus the actual bonus. So you've got 50 points with the O's going up and down. Now, we just have a few more minutes left in the game, and we'll ask a couple of more questions of the English department. We're going to clear the board. Matt, wave your magic arms. Whee! We'll uh, clear the board. We do that every time we get uh, the X's or O's across up and down or diagonal, and we'll just round out with uh, 30 more points. We'll see if the English department can get some. Pick a game piece there, Jen, anywhere you want. We'll go A1. A1 at the top. See if you can get 30 points here. In what year was Jaws released? The movie, A, 1993. B, 1987, or C, 1975? C, 1975. Was it a very good year? It was very a good year, 1975 it is. Yes, it was. 30 points, they're up there. All right, last question in the game. Going to my friends here, the Griffin's best students. Where do you want your game block? Go C3. All right, C3, what the heck. What character is not an optional character in the video game Smash Brothers? A, Sonic, B, Toad, or C, Browser Jr.? Gotta be a gamer to know this one, and you've given up your audience option. Smash Brothers, the character that's we, not optional. That. Sonic, <laughs> Toad, or Browser Jr.? Uh, we'll go with C on that one. We're gonna try C. Oh, it was Toad. Toad, of course, yeah. All right, Petey, come around, come around, come around to the uh, side here, because Petey's going to help me give out the final score. What is it, Matt? What's the final score? Well, the English department came up a little short with 120 points. Griffin's Best takes the win with 140. So the Griffin's Best students, you are the bragging rights champs. Petey, give them a high five right over there. The student, yeah, they go. They get a high five. From Petey, they are the champs, Griffin's best. All right. Petey, you have the biggest costume, I, or I'm sorry, it's not a costume, he's a real character, that Griffin. All right, it's the biggest I've ever seen. But you know, we're not gonna send anybody home empty-handed. Everybody here playing today, we're gonna get you some dips and theater passes for right here at the Eastern Hills Mall. High five there, Petey. All right, Petey was here from Canisius College. These great teams have been here. If you'd like more information on Canisius, go to canisius.edu. And if you'd like to be a contestant, go to our website, wbbz.tv. Like us on Facebook. Follow us at WBBZ on Twitter. My name's John DeShulo. Thanks for joining us on Bragging Rights. We'll see you next time.